So, uh, She was just asking to see if I could get a whole jeepney for myself so I could uh, ride from um, this. Wow. Okay. All right, so 150 pesos, we'll get the whole jeepney to ourselves. Uh, jeepney is uh, I want to say six or eight pesos. What? Yeah, no, it's all right. Come on, it's fine. If they ride, it's fine. Come on. We out. So now we'll just go, right? Yeah. We'll just go. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Alright. That's fine, they can stay, it's quick. But no more. Thank you. So we're riding to um Korean town, which is the pretty much the other friendship gate. Yeah, people are probably a little shocked because usually the um like if you see the other jeepney it's full. And everybody rides in, but I pretty much paid all the seats. So we're out. And we're just passing by. Oh yeah, how much is a fare for one passenger to on the jeepney? Ten peso? Nine pesos. So the, the, the fare is nine pesos. Pretty much. And they'll just fill up the whole car. They'll have two people up front and then they'll just they'll just pack these seats. Yep. So this is the jeepney experience. Sometimes you have to worry about like uh, things like pickpockets and things like that. Like Monica had um, someone pretty much knife into her into her purse and take take money or or items that were in the purse. They took them out. She didn't even notice uh, until she got off of the jeepney and her money was gone. So. Just, yep, things like that. You kind of have to be worried about. So make sure that when you do ride a jeepney, um, one, you know where you're going, and two, make sure that you're um, that you're taking you're taking extra precautions to hold on to all your valuables and belongings. You know, I'm always pretty much uh, tapping my pockets when I'm here on the jeepney ride. And what will happen is they'll also pick up passengers along the way like if they have any stops and when it's your stop you just say para which means stop it's literally stop in spanish so and it's also tagalog you just say para and the um jeep, the jeepney driver will stop and he'll, he'll drop you off so yep. but we won't need to uh have them stop because we're going pretty much to the last stop. But along the way, I'm pretty sure some of the passengers that are on here will get off. Me too! He's here. Ah, Pito. See, he just yelled something and it stopped and he's off. Come on, Kuya. Hello. Not everyone is as friendly as the other guys, you know. But it is what it is. Um, usually what will happen is like a person will come on at the end and they'll pass their money pretty much all the way down. You pass it to the next person, the person passes it to the next person, and they'll pass it all the way down. If it's 20 pesos for example and you need change, the change will come back literally through from the same hands passing it back to you, the same way that you passed it up. We're not going to see that today though. But maybe next time, or when you have your experience. So, yep, this is this is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, you can feel free to ask. 
in the comment section of this post. But yeah, we've just hit Bretos. Not sure if you guys have seen um, Korean Town. Take a look out the window, I guess. So here you got Red Planet. Savannah Resort Hotel, Sakura, I think that's a bar, I'm not sure, 7-Eleven, you have plenty of 7-Elevens here in the Philippines, uh, wow, here's another another hotel, K Hotel Residences is what it's called, and these are houses here, Swiss Land Apartments, uh, Fantasy Massage, Ray Luisa Grand. Um, yeah. Keep on going. I think we passed the point where the bars end, but I'm not 100% sure. This is a, a construction bar. To be honest, I haven't seen that worked on, so it might be a dead project. One of the one of the other reasons why we um i want one i wanted to do the video for the jeepney but the reason we were going to use grab but grab wasn't responding we didn't get any drivers to pick up to pick up our ride to pick us up where we were uh stationed and to drop us off where we wanted to go and one of the one of the things is right now it's um it's it seems like it's a lot of traffic that the drivers are busy so that's that's pretty much the message we got so these are bars too but these are more um i want to say korean based bars oh here's clarkton clarkton hotel and they have a bar inside their own their own kind of bar their own little bars not kind of bars same same as any other bar it's just uh the hotel hosts the bar Kind of like Voodoo, I guess, with um, the, hmm, what's that, Kokomo's Hotel? Right next to Kokomo's is uh, Voodoo. So I guess something, a little something like that. Whoa. Bar music. We're on Walking Street, everything is kind of all cramped together, everything is next to each other. As you uh, leave Walking Street, then you uh, hit Fields Avenue, things get a little um, more spread out. And then as, as soon as you get here, they're, they're very spread out in, in terms of bars and, and things like that. See, you have a lot of food places, you have hotels. It's a, it's a, it's a variety, it's a mix. Jap oh, Japan surplus, ooh. That's where you can buy a bike. Somebody told me about that. And I hadn't really, um, I guess I hadn't noticed that place. Bank of Philippines, Apple Massage, uh, Cholson Chicken, Iguanas, oh, Iguanas. That's a, um, like a Mexican uh, food place. Whoa, food treat. That was kind of wild. Pudo Gold. And see, now we've reached the, the, the other jeepney checkpoint. Pretty much everybody has to get off here. If you have another destination, you got to take another jeepney from this point to another point. All right. Thank you. Say hi, sir. So that was our Jeep new driver. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. And now we are off. And we are in what is known as Korean Town. We're going to the deli. They have a really good deli here. 
In my opinion, it's better than Bretos. Wow, Korean exchange. Hello, sir. How are you? Very nice, exchange. So here's the jolly bee. As you can see, like some people are, uh, they don't mind uh, being captured on camera, but there are some people who, who do mind. Like that, that guy who got into the jeepney, he seemed to be a little upset or a little, or a little freaked out probably because the jeepney was empty. And I'm, I'm over here holding a camera and talking to it. So just fascinating stuff. We got the Burger King over there. That's new. Yeah. So I'll just walk down um, this street here for you. Damn. Whoa, here. See? Korean town. You see, you can see the, um, the flag here, the Korean flag along with some writing on here. There's just people sitting around, hanging out. And it's like a whole a whole little different world over here. See, you got the Burger King. You got a, a cafe over there. You saw the Japan surplus? I'm very interested in getting a bike. Like a bicycle, so. It's the toy talking. Yes, exactly. That's what I was saying. So it was my barber who told me about. Was it so? Yeah. Yeah, my barber who told me about the um, Japan surplus and that they would have, they would probably have a bicycle there. And I, I saw some bicycles because everybody assumes you want an uh, uh, an electric bike or a motorbike, but I'm not into a uh, motorbike. Sorry, sir. So look, look at all these uh, different places. I don't, that place says Jatsu Massage. Then you have a, a restaurant here. See, everything here is in, it's pretty much written in Korean. And they also have uh, construction projects going. Like that Burger King was that Burger King is new, like I said. I want to say it's maybe like a year old. Right? The Burger not, King? Maybe not even. May, probably less. Oh. So, because for a while that was nothing. There was just nothing there. Yeah, so, yep. No, before there is something there, like a big KTV bar. Ah. The Burger King now is. Okay. I'm seeing this red doors place everywhere. I saw it behind ABC. I see one here. I see one. I saw one um, next to JJ Supermarket. It's a big thing. Ooh, a Korean tour crew. This is something that you see in Boracay a lot. This is the first time I've seen it here. To where. Um, it's 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 like the Koreans are like on a like on a vacation or a tour, but they're they're in, they're in a large group. In Boracay, it's one of the most annoying things because they stop, they have their their tour guide pretty much explaining everything, and they're just a pack of people just standing around. And when you're trying to get somewhere, you know, you don't want people just standing around, kind of just in the way. But I can understand it now. I mean, if I didn't have my translator here, I'd probably be lost. So. At least in certain in certain uh, places and with, in, with certain things. So, yep. Korean town. I think I'm gonna stop the video pretty soon. We got some deep me. Oh. You got a lot of restaurants. See? Yep. It's all right. I'm, I'm gonna head to the deli. This is Ariel Penn signing off from Korean Town. Hope you enjoyed my little jeepney ride for you guys. Again, if you have any questions in regards to um, taking a jeepney or 
or Korean town. I mean, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. Any questions? All right. And oh, let me show you a trike, just so you see all the different forms of transportation. So you have buses, you have jeepney, and you have tricycles. And that'll take you uh, pretty much direct to where. Oh, wow. This guy has a uh, Korean town on there. Ah, uh, this is a, this is a trike station. They have a whole system with the trikes. It's like there's no trespassing. They don't want uh, trikes from one station at another station. Like people people will fight over this. Like serious serious fighting. So yep, that's all I'm gonna say about that. This is Ariel Penn once again signing off from Koreatown. Adios.